Welcome back or welcome to Yoga with Kira. It's day 13 of dynamic balance and we're continuing on the same line as what we've been doing, really feeling our feet, connecting it through the body, starting on the floor. Hmm, it really suits me. I really like it. Um, and yeah, I was thinking about morning practices and when we commit to something, um, I was thinking that, you know, when I'm not doing my own personal practices, then when I'm feeling off or miserable, I, can, I think I can say in my head, oh, it's because I'm not doing my yoga or it's because I'm not doing my dip. Um, but when I'm doing all of those and I'm still feeling a bit off, then I realize, oh, I'm just a bit off. Um, it really, I own my own internal landscape much more. Um, and so, yeah, I was just thinking how, yeah, that ownership of how we feel, how we interact with the world, that it's not about other, it's not about what's happening on the outside. It's just this incredible expression of you, of me, um, day to day, moment to moment. So great, so come lie on the floor. Let's move. Great. Floor, feed your arms wide, feed your flat. And really wiggle your shoulders so you have a sense that your shoulders are unpacked, but also engaging. They're not passive on the floor, they're active on the floor. And so the analogy that works for me in my head is that I want to imagine that I'm a bear in the wood and I'm scratching my back on a tree. And how would I find that space between my shoulder blades? That space between... Yeah, around my spine, how would I really engage the shoulder blades even into the floor, the backs of my arms. <laughs> nice. Great. And then drop your knees down towards the right. And as you do so, keep your shoulders on the floor. So I'm not allowing my knees go far enough that my shoulder has lifted. Instead, I'm feeling that restriction. And then I'm breathing into the left side of my waist, my left ribs. So when we anchor, we encourage change in a different way. It's not the only way we can move. It's one of the ways. Drop your knees down towards the left. Keep your right shoulder on the floor. And I'm really present to the length between my hip and my armpit. <clears throat> and the possibilities of movement that are happening there. Let's come back to center. Drop your knees down towards the right. Again, breathing into the side of your body. And then you're going to slide your left hand somewhere overhead until it feels like it's a continuation of the left rib cage. And so I'm going to bend my elbow a little bit and find this, the, the right angle. And you might find mm, none of them really are extra, or you might find, oh, that's exactly the place for extra. Mine is quite close to my head, actually. I didn't think it would be there. It's quite close to my ear. Maybe around three inches away, four inches away. And I'm gonna reach into that left arm overhead, and I'm gonna see where moves or where responds to that action. And then pull your shoulder down into your body. Your arm stays straight. And then reach your left arm long and then pull your shoulder down into your body. And actually there's quite a lot of movement happening in my ribs. It's like in a coordination. Squeeze your shoulder down. As I squeeze my shoulder down, my right side kind of bulges. And as I lengthen into the left arm, there's this incredible opening in the left side. So how do I slide my left arm higher along the floor? And then pull my left shoulder down into my body. Nice. Bend your left elbow and then reach your left hand straight up towards the ceiling. And we're going to do the same, but up towards the ceiling. So now reach your left hand up and then follow your left hand up. So my head is lifting off the floor as I try and touch something above me. Nice. And then drop your shoulder down, drop your head down. Your arm stays up towards the ceiling. And then reach your shoulder. Lift your head and then drop your head, drop your shoulder. 
Whenever I do this, I imagine when we were kids, we had bunk beds. <laughs> and so, yeah, there was something about re this reach reminds me of reaching up and grabbing the bars of the bunk bed above my head. I'm not sure what we were doing. Was I poking the person above me? Could I have poked the person above me? Were the mattresses so thin that I could have done that? <laughs> so Sinead, who's in the office with us, she actually would have been on the underbed, the bottom bunk, and I would have been on the top bunk. <laughs> Reaching, pause with your left arm up towards the ceiling. You can turn your head in whatever direction you like. Just feel what's happening in your ribs right now. Nice. Drop your left arm down and bring your knees back up to center. Pause. We're going to go right again with our knees. Draw your right, your knees to the right. Bring your left foot on top of your right foot, left foot up on top of your right knee, and then bring your right hand down to hold on to the side of your knee. And then just ever so gently pull. It's literally one fingertip is just gently creating traction and then release it. Pull, like I'm moving my hip a little bit back towards the left and then pull a little bit back towards the left. Is your left shoulder still on the floor? Mine is lighter because of the weight of my knee, but that's interesting now because there's an opening in my chest, uh, softening in the front of my ribs. That's very nice. Nice. Come all the way back to center. Shimmy yourself so you feel straight. And then drop your knees down towards the left side. Keeping your right shoulder on the floor. Breathe into the right side of your ribs. That space between your waist and your armpit. Nice. And then slide your right hand till you feel it's continuous. So for me, again, it's actually quite close to my ear, maybe three or four inches away. And then I'm going to reach long into that right arm. And then I'm going to pull my shoulder down into my body. Reach long. And then pull my shoulder down. Long. There's very interesting connections here. Like there's back of the ribs, deep of the belly, front of the ribs, armpit, upper arm neck hip there's loads of stuff going on what happens to the other side of your ribs as you pull your shoulder down what happens to the other side of your ribs when you reach your shoulder up nice so bend your right elbow and then reach your right hand up towards your ceiling and then reach your fingers lift your head and then drop down your shoulder reach your fingers Lift your head, drop your shoulder, reach your fingers, lift your head, pause. So have your neck in whatever direction feels right for you. Where is that? What is that? And then drop your shoulder down, reach your arms wide, bring your knees back up to center, pause. Again, down towards the left, and then this time bring your right foot to your left foot, and then right foot to your left knee. Let it rest on your knee and then bring your left fingers down to very lightly touch the side of your knee. And then just create, like it's a tiny movement. It's like a little bit further into the movement. And then I pull myself a little bit back. And there's something in the back of my hip, the back of my buttock that creates weight back towards the right. Mm, deepen, mm, come out and just feel. How do I rock my right hip forward and backwards a bit towards the left and then a little bit towards the right? For me in my yoga, I, I don't glorify the holding of things for a long time. Instead, I'm really interested in creatively finding as many different random variations of movement that we can, we can really begin to educate ourselves in the sensations of our body. I think this is incredible. So roll all the way over. Yes, roll all the way over and come up onto your hands and knees. I'm gonna go sideways. So grab the floor with your fingers and just feel that your palms are really anchored, rounding your back, arching your back. 
So these are the same ribs as what we were moving. I know it sounds really obvious, but bring all that you learned the last time and apply it now. How do you feel the sides of your body? How do you feel that space from your armpit to your hip? Is it different left to right as you move? So in theory, they're the same. Of course they're the same. And then in practical application, for me, there's such a big difference between the left side and the right side of my rib cage. Like they're really different. And then squeeze, look back towards the right. And then squeeze, look back towards the left. Well, I'm just meeting the deep of my hips. And so this movement of the sides of your body, we're finding it again. So I'm going to close my eyes. When I close my eyes, I feel more sensations because I'm blocking out some of my, like I'm blocking out completely my visionary, my vision uh, sense. And it just gives me more mm, bandwidth for sensation. So how do you rock from one side to the other side? Nice, come back to center. So take your right hand and glide it underneath your left armpit and bring your right shoulder down to the floor or in that direction. And then just deepen your breath. As always, you're modifying, adjusting, adapting according to your, your body and this moment. Nice, come all the way back up. Other side, take your left hand, glide it under, coming down towards the floor. Mind your breath. Super, come all the way back up. So your hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. Walk your hands one handprint forward round your back deeply and then pull your bum back towards your heels feel your armpits lengthening nice and then rock forward stay rounded as you rock forward and bring weight into your hands and as you stay rounded i'm not then creating banana back i'm really staying rounded and creating like abdominal connection as i glide forward and then as i move back forward keep that sense of rounding so at no stage am i just dropping my hips forward my hips are really limited by the rounding of my back this is what i want just rocking forward keep your head tucked in it'll keep your spine tucked in as soon as you lift your head your hips will drop nice pause on the back so my hands are strong, maybe even coming up into spiders. So my fingertips are on the floor, I'm pushing my fingertips down. And I'm not, I'm not collapsing down towards the floor. I'm lengthening my spine and I'm drawing my sit bones down. So I imagine that, it's such a strange analogy, this one. I imagine that my back is like butter on toast and I'm spreading the butter as far as I can from my fingertips all the way down to my sit bones. How would I connect the back of my body in one wide, full length? And I walk my fingers a little bit further forward and then do the same again. Listen to your arms. Does one arm need to be a bit softer? Do you need to bend the elbow a bit on that side? Do, don't, you know, it's about team you. So you're not mm, punishing the weaker places or the more restricted places. Instead, you're encouraging, inviting, you know, be really wholesome in how you include all the members, all the different parts, all the different elements of the community of you nice hands to the floor push back downward dog ah, let's wake up our feet just find your feet bending one knee bending the other bending both how do you wake up your feet and then roll in the other direction
Nice. Walk forward. Mm, pause in a forward fold. Do you need to put your elbows on your knees here? Or can you hang out forward with your head low? And the thing that'll tell you which one you're going to do is the sensations of your hamstrings, the backs of your thighs, your lower back, your neck. Just pause, supported or unsupported as you wish. Nice, elbows to your knees, hands to your knees, and come all the way up. Hmm. Nice. So we're going to look a little bit at that shoulder action we were doing on the floor. Oh, really interesting. So reach your right hand up towards the ceiling. And then really reach so that you're lengthening, you feel your armpit opening, and then pull your right shoulder down. So it really sinks into the body. Reach your right hand up, and then pull your right shoulder down. My arm is staying straight as I do this. Up and down. And let the other side of your ribs move as you do this. So the, as I reach the right hand up, my left ribs shorten. As I reach my right hand up, hand up, my right ribs lengthen. And even my whole weight is traveling a little bit more over to the right side. So we're going to exaggerate that. Bring your left foot out to the side. And then a little bit, not too much. Don't feel like you're, you're falling off center. So I feel like all my weight is on my right and my left foot's just easy and out to the side. And then reach your right hand up. And as I reach, maybe your left foot just naturally comes off the floor. So it's just a small movement of reach your right hand and maybe your left foot is lifted by the action. I'm not lifting my left foot. It's being lifted by the action. And you really find that boingy, stretchy lengthening through the side of your body. <laughs> nice. Drop your arm down. Pause. Super. Other side. So reach your left hand up and just start by reaching your armpit and your chest up into your fingers and then draw your shoulder down. So again, if you need to bend your elbow to create this movement, if you want to adapt, how would you adapt? You know, maybe bring your fingers to the front of your shoulder so it's only your shoulder that you're lifting up and down. Oh yeah, look at that. You can lift your shoulder without the arm also doing it. Yeah, wow, hey, that, was a, that was cool. I learned something new today. <laughs> so I'm thinking of the plan for next month. I have a few ideas. Reach and uh, drop. Nice, so now bring all the weight into the left foot and just bring your right foot out to the side, just easy. There's no, it's not anywhere in particular, it's just there, okay? But your weight is not on the right foot, okay? And then reach your left arm up. And as I, because there's no weight in the right foot, it can just suddenly, it can lift because I'm shortening the right side to create length in the left. Reach. Reach. Do you have to adapt for your shoulder? Feel what you need to do. One more time. Reach. Nice. Cool. So we're going to do that. Oh, I can't remember the name I called it. But anyway, the fascial rubbing. Fascial. Anyway, so just gently rub down your right arm. But it's really gentle. So it's like this really soft rubbing of your. I'm doing the left. But anyways, do rub down your arm, whichever arm you're on. Okay. And it's like, um, like you're rubbing off hair or cobwebs or dust or something. It's quite a light contact, okay? And then just do it to your hand and just feel out your palm between your fingers, around the hand. And then just pause. Oh, that arm feels lovely. <laughs> Other side. So just rubbing down through the, le the left arm. I'm doing the right because I just started on the wrong side. And really gently. And I'm trying to get a sense that I'm going to come into contact with the whole surface of my arm. Hand, fingers, palm. I'm going to be gentle, be soft. 
Nice, and then pause. Oh, that feels lovely. <laughs> now from your shoulder down into your arm. Nice, and then the other hand. Shoulder, neck, down into your arm. Front of your shoulder, down into your arm. Front of your shoulder, down into your arm. Nice, side of your waist, down into your legs, all the way down the sides of your legs into the sides of your feet, out, and then do it again. Sides of your ribs, sides of your waist, sides of your hips, sides of your thighs, and down. Nice. Front of your chest, belly, hips, front of your thighs, down to your feet. Front of your chest, belly, hips, down. Great. Right. Inner thighs, down. Inner thighs, down. Nice. Back of your hips. So reach as high as you can into your lower back, across the buttocks, back of the thighs, down. All the way down. One more time, all the way down. So cool, super. Um, come lie on the floor. So for me, there's this really interesting quiet feeling in my body, like a sense of a bit like when I tidy my kitchen and it just feels like great full stop now we can mess it up again so right now in this moment there's this kind of oh great i can feel me i can sense the boundary of me really clearly what's the feeling in you hmm, i want to do my face so just gently rub your face maybe your head And then pause. Mm, nice. Super. So just pausing, breathing, slowing down before you head off into your day. Oh, nice. Um, so I will see you all tomorrow. Um, yeah. And I will balance. Yum. Uh, so see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Slot on.